Martin, we will get to the game in just a moment. But just first of all, what have you made of the past 24 hours with, with what's happening with Chelsea? And, and do you think it will have an impact on today's game? I wasn't surprised that there was some statement. Um, I guess we were all surprised that Roman Abramovich ostensibly has stepped aside. I think the timing of it to give Chelsea a little bit of a, a PR boost going into the game. It's always a, a worry as a commentator quite how the supporters are going to react. Um, and the, obviously the Liverpool fans will have a view on a, on a Russian ownership. Um, it's now, I, I believe, technically not a Russian ownership, although none of us know the, the real details. So I think in a way it's given the Chelsea players a little bit of a breathing space in that respect. And, and hopefully it will be a game that you know, we've all been looking forward to the game, but we can't control the circumstances that the world finds itself in. And, and it is um, something that we're all appalled by, to be honest. Yeah, I know it's very difficult just to look at the game itself, but if we can mm. for a moment, is it a fitting showcase for this competition? And given the way the two games went in the Premier League, are you almost hopeful or almost expecting a classic here? Well, you can never tell. Finals are finals, they bring their own pressure. But I think it's a great compliment to the competition because not only have we got a, a Liverpool-Chelsea final, we had uh, Spurs and Arsenal as the losing semi-finalists, you know. Uh, the top teams are, are going for it. It's a piece of silverware. There, there aren't that many around and Chelsea hoover up some of them and Manchester City hoover up some of them and Liverpool obviously not far behind in that respect as well. So uh, it is, um, it's always a great day. It's very well organised by the EFL, I think. There's a, there's a great sense of occasion here. And more fans than probably the, per club than at the FA Cup final. The, the big thing, Damish, of course, it was April we were here last year for last year's final. I think there were 8,000 in total, which was the biggest attendance allowed during that particular season because of lockdown. Uh, and it's great just to think whatever the game brings, just to believe that everybody here, hopefully, and you've touched on it right at the start with the circumstances we all find ourselves in, but hopefully the game will give everybody a couple of hours of, of release from world pressures, if you like. It will make a big difference, though, won't it, when, to see this place yeah. packed for, for a major final? It will, and uh, it's a great place, it's a great venue. People have always talked to Wembley, um, it was, it's always got something special. Did you play at Wembley? Did you win at Wembley? Has your team won at Wembley? We want to get to Wembley, uh, we're all off to Wembley. All that stuff gives great compliment to the settings that we find ourselves in. And they have, as you alluded to just now, they have obviously got the potential. That game in January, January the 2nd, was a truly wonderful game, one of the best games I've seen this season. Uh, and uh, at the end of it, you wanted more. Well, we're going to have a bit more today. I'm sure through your rigorous research ahead of this game, there's so many storylines, isn't there? There's Klopp without a domestic cup for Liverpool. There's the Lukaku issue. And if he starts, Kepa Arizabalaga, if he was to play for Chelsea today, the ultimate redemption following what happened in the 2019 final when he refused to come off. There are a few storylines potentially here today, aren't yeah, there? Yeah, I think refusing to come off is probably a, a bold <laughs> statement on it. There were circumstances. He said he thought they thought he was injured and he wasn't. Um, but of course, Mendy is his big challenger, Edouard Mendy, who's uh, won the uh, African Cup of Nations in February and won the Club World Cup with Chelsea in February. I mean, to win three titles in one month, uh, that would be something that I'd write in my notes, I think. So whichever way it goes, as you say, there is a story. Just finally, who do you think the momentum is with? Because it seems to be with Liverpool at the moment. Well, I think if we can just look at it in football terms, I was at Anfield on Wednesday night. They couldn't have had a better preparation, really. But um, Leeds are, at the moment, a bit of a, a sitting duck of a target, and Liverpool feasted themselves. Uh, and they didn't overstretch. Of course, Chelsea only played on Tuesday and haven't had to travel. So there are one or two sort of fitness factors that Chelsea might be able to use to their advantage. But for me, it's a 50-50 game. Two terrific teams for a, a, a very well worth prize and um, you know let's hope it, it lives up to the occasion and as I said right at the start gives everybody a little bit of a respite away from other things that we're thinking about at the moment.